everyone. We're going to start. How are you? I hope everybody's okay. Okay, let's see. Who's here? Leanne, Tina. I feel like I'm doing romper room. <laughs> How are you? And George said, oh, oh, I see. Okay. All right. How are you two doing? Hopefully some others will join us later in a little bit, in a few minutes. I hope you guys are doing okay. Now, here's what we're going to be needing. We're going to need this little cup or maybe a bigger cup, the Waltons. <laughs> So if you have like a um, 17 by, a 16 by 20, you'll need like a, a big solo cup. <laughs> Good night, John boy. <laughs> so this one, now I'm gonna use this one cause I have the smaller um, painting. And guess what we're gonna use this for? Here's a hint. <laughs> Not to drink out of, okay. So we'll be using a cup and we'll be using a ruler and the two will go hand in hand. Okay. How's my sound? Can you guys hear me? Yeah, I got my coffee ready. Whew. I needed coffee today. I don't know why. Okay. Who's painting along? Tina, you ready? You got, you got your paints out? Here's something else I'm using, a um, angle brush. I love my angle brushes. Maybe a small flat brush and a big flat, a little bit bigger flat brush. I put out some titanium white, some black, some quinacridone magenta, and let's see, um, some zinc white. And I use the quinacridone magenta because I have some purple in my uh, background. So the purple is going to, um, purple will be too blended and too blended in with the background. So that's to give it some contrast when I do my reflections. Good. All righty then. Okay. So I'm gonna switch my my thing over to the palette so you guys can see that. All right. So here's my black, my white, my quinacridone, and my zinc white, and my chalk and my cup so hopefully if anyone else is painting along they're not going to miss this part because it's kind of really really important <laughs> all right and now i'm going to switch over to everything okay so let me see, I'm gonna move this canvas over just a wee bit. There. All right. So we should be pretty set now. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do first. I'm gonna take this cup, and you probably guessed it, and I'm gonna put it right about here. Like I, I want the light, I have light, and I want the light to be shining toward the wine glass. So I'm just going to use the cup to trace halfway. Don't go beyond halfway because you wanna start your straight line there, okay? So I'm gonna go halfway, the bottom half obviously of the cup. Just like that. 
So that's our little cheat, <laughs> if you want to call it that. Okay, so you see the line now. So the line is like, watch me mess it up. Just like that. Okay, so smile. <laughs> And then we're going to use the ruler and bring it up the rest of the way. So I'm going to do this. You might want to make the make it slant just a tiny, tiny bit or go straight up and down, however you want to do it. I have to move it over enough, though. Move it over into the smile enough for the line to not go outside. And I'm gonna have that. Thing about chalk is you can wipe it off. And then on this side. Chalk's not chalking. There it is. There it is. Okay. So well, that's the U. <laughs> All right. Was well, way more than a smile now. <laughs> All right. And then the top. Hang on a second. I just want to make my lines the same, the same length. Okay. So at the top, I'm going to just put like a little, little bit of a smile, more like a smirk. Okay. More like a smirk. Okay, and then I'm going to go across the opposite way, just like the kind of a top lip. There we go, like that. Yes, we're doing, this is the letter people. <laughs> All right. Now, now we have the stem. We're going to freehand that because I want to put, hopefully I get in the middle, but I want to put like a, that. So you got your smiles, your partial smiles going sideways. And then I'm going to go just above the bottom lines, just above the bottom lines, and make my my what do you call that part? I don't know what you call that part. I guess I should have done homework on that. This is the stem, right? This is the stand? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. So that's it. That's the glass. It's not quite, it's not quite, well, you know. Hopefully yours is a little better. All right. That's better. All right. So we have an idea, right? So this is the thing. This is the thing here. I'm going to erase this line a little bit because I put it on really ridiculously heavy for it to be seen. So I have my damp uh, paper towel and I'm just gonna, so that I, I can see it but you can't. 
and you could do the same thing. You get rid of some of this line because we're going to replace that. Okay? But I just wanted you guys to see it. When I get rid of this line, when I get rid of part of that line, you can see parts of it, right? Well, that's what we're going to do with the paint. You're not going to see a complete line going all the way around. You're just going to see parts of that line. And that's what gives it that glass effect. Stop being so fussy. <laughs> well, if you're not fussy with this, uh, it's not going to look like glass. <laughs> all right. So this is what we're going to do. We are going to take the angle brush and we're going to do just like what I just did with when I got rid of rid of some of that chalk, okay? We're going to and I'm going to do the same thing up at the top actually. I'm going to get rid of some of this too. And just get rid of some of that and I'm going to get rid of some of this. So you see how that gives it more of a glass look already? We haven't even painted it yet and it's starting to look like glass. All right, so I'm gonna wet my brush and then you're gonna have to really get this brush flat. You're gonna have to really go like this on your palette to get it flat, okay? So I'm dipping into the white and I'm dipping into the black but I want more white. So that it's a very, very light gray. And I'm gonna really try to get my, my brush flat. I'm gonna dip into some water. I put some water right on the palette paper because I don't want it running. And you see that really light gray that I came up with? Really light gray? We're going to hit parts of this uh, sides. We're not gonna go all the way down. That's the main part. And I'm gonna use my baby finger to balance my brush, okay? So I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna go par partially and I'm skipping and I'm going partially and I'm skipping and I'm going partially. Okay. And I'm skipping. Okay. Same way with this. I'm not even going to start out at the same. I'm not going to do opposites. I'm going to go in a different spot here. So I'm going to do partial, partial. Okay partial, partial, and then down here, same, and then down here, across. Okay, I'm going to dip a little bit into here, and I'm going to do the same here. I'm just going to do the part, the front, not all the way across, part of the back on both sides. Okay, so there's your glass. The end goodbye. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> the rest of this is going to be reflection. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm fussing a little bit. I think I took some of my paint off, but that's okay. All right, so this is gonna be, the rest of it's going to be reflection. So we're gonna take, we're gonna lighten that up with more white. Okay. And we're gonna put some, now we're, with a glass, whatever you have in the front of the glass, 
you also have in the back of the glass. So it's a little, it, it gets to be a little bit confusing. You think you wanna just put some of your reflection in the front, but you're gonna have to curve it. You're gonna have to curve it the opposite way somewhat in the back too because then you'll be seeing the back of the glass all right so it's it's kind of interesting but at the very bottom we want to have a little bit of a a little reflection here we want a reflection here right and maybe get a little skinny as you come down okay you're gonna want a reflection going this way in the back. Okay. And then you're gonna want a reflection going this way in the back here. Now, you don't want a lot of paint on your brush. You want it to, you want those brush marks, okay? And a little bit here, a little bit here. A little here okay so that's part of your reflection now you see how that's becoming a glass it's it's kind of interesting so this is curving the wrong way this is curving this way back here that's curving this way okay because that's the back of your glass. And then this is this way. All right. Not a whole lot. You don't want a lot. Now I'm going to take that quinacridone magenta and mix it in the white. Or that light gray. And I'm going to come down here and I'm going to put some play around with this a little bit because this is where you have some solid parts of your glass so where there's no white I'm just going to color with some of my my quinacridone magenta right here right above and below above and below that um, above and below that splash of white I have down here. That light grayish, very, very light grayish color. So I have this now, because that bottom part is where, where everything kind of shows. And then I'm gonna come down here, and I'm gonna take, I still have my same brush, and I have barely anything on it, it's kind of a pinkish color. and just playing around like this down here and then later we'll be wiping that chalk off okay i'm going to do the same thing up here i just want this to look like it's got some light to it now do we want do you want wine in this glass do you want wine in here? We could throw some wine in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dip straight into this uh, quinacridone magenta. I haven't really had to dip into any water. I think I will into the water that's on my um, palette. I'm gonna go into here and I'm gonna add some wine because I really want some. So I'm adding some wine very 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 light touch very light touch and i'm gonna go across and i'm adding some wine here i put some wine in my glass this is going to be the shortest lesson ever Okay, now I'm gonna lighten this, uh, I'm gonna lighten this wine up a little bit with the white. Where's my white? I need more white. Okay, 
because whatever whatever perspective you have on one part of an item you need the same perspective on the other part of the item so we have the we're looking down into the glass a little bit from the top correct so therefore we need to look down into the glass from the bottom too so I'm gonna lighten that up with some white I'm lighting that that lightening that wine up with some white and I'm gonna make a little lip to the wine right here I'm making a little lip all the way across just like I did at the top it's very tricky but it sounds trickier than it is so I put a little top lip on that and there you go shortest lesson ever now I'm gonna darken this I'm gonna put uh, more of a dark uh, wine in the bottom of that glass so now I'm gonna rinse my brush off boy I'm getting thirsty <laughs> I'm rinsing my brush off and I'm wiping it off with the paper towel I'm adding some uh, quinacridone magenta To my palette where you can see it and let's see and I'm gonna give it a few more little light touches down where the wine is so that you can actually see the wine Okay, and I don't want to mess up my curve. I don't want to mess up that white curve. Well, take all the excess off. And there you go. There you go. not to cover up everything I don't want to cover up my reflections Oops, and that's what I didn't want to do. I got an oops in there. Okay. Get a little bit more wine in there. A little bit more wine. So since I put the wine in the glass, I want to make sure that um. Uh, Now, with hardly any, hardly any uh, pink on this brush, what, it, what did I say? You have to show 
some reflection on the back of the glass. So here I am showing some reflection. I got a little carried away with the hardly any. Showing some reflection on the back of the glass. See? Because whatever is on the front of the glass, you're going to see a little bit on the back of the glass. So just a very light touch. Light touch here. Light touch here. And let's see. Do I have any white left? I want to show a little bit of white. A little white light touch here. Okay, that wasn't very light, but and because that that's got wine in it, I want to pinken that up a little bit. I don't want it that obvious. Okay. All right, so that's kind of it, guys. Kind of it. I'd like to hear from you, see how you're doing. Okay. I had in my other painting, I had some yellow ochre. And because I want them to match, I'm going to put some yellow ochre on this one too, on the very background. Not a lot. I'm just going to hit it just to highlight the background a little bit. Okay? So it's not boring. So I put some yellow ochre because that's how my other painting is and I, I really want them to match so that they could be a set. And that was my suggestion. Try to get the similar colors to the other painting that you did before. I lost my brushes. Let's see, let's see if I can grab one. Okay, so I'm just wetting my brush here and I'm just gonna very lightly go into my yellow ochre and just try to uh, get some of that same background that I had in my other painting. <clears throat> so I just wanna very, very lightly, very lightly, <clears throat> I was a little heavy handed in my other painting, but I don't want to do that in this one. So it's not going to match as well as it should, as I want it to. But I just want to put a little bit in here. <clears throat> little yellow ochre. I get to talk with you guys tonight. George isn't talking to me, so he's making me feel like I'm all alone. He's not telling me what you're saying. I want to give this a base. So I really want to um, come down here a little bit. And oh. what I'd like to do... Leanne says I'm having issues with buffering again. Are you? Is anyone else buffering? Hi, Elena. Okay. All right. Oh, Leanne, that's frustrating. Now, Leanne, I, I think I know what you could do with it with your uh, with your settings. You need to make the size of your video smaller on your settings, where you have a choice of uh, whatever the choices are. Um, 
240 or 700 or whatever those choices are. I don't know them by on the top of my head. But make it uh, smaller than what size that you would use normally in your computer if you were to um, upload or uh, put a picture up or something. Make what you receive like in my video what you're receiving a smaller picture and that should help you um, and maybe hubby can help you with that but that should help you from buffering if it's not your internet all right and I guess that's it does that look like a wine glass <laughs> What do you think? Jennifer was saying she was having trouble getting started. She hasn't painted in a month. Oh. Well, I leave these up, Jennifer, so you can do them again. You could do it again and again. I'm not crazy about my wine bottle. It looks more like a, uh, a bottle of olive oil. Um, so I kind of want to do another one so that the neck is longer. I'm so used to painting on bigger canvases. But, um, and this glass turned out a little bit darker, uh, this, this canvas. So I'm not even sure which one I like better, but anyway, so that's the two of them. And then next time after I paint the sides, I think I'll paint the sides too, but the next one, oh, let me move this. Let me move something out of the way first. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Take that palette cam off. Take the image off. Uh, not the image. The monitor off of this one. There we go. And I'm going to go back. Okay. Let's see as one falls on the floor so this is my two together oh I see Lynn okay all right I'm trying to catch up now yeah did you refresh hi Thomas my grandson saying hi. <laughs> okay, yeah, the, the yellow ochre gives it more of an antique -y kind of thing. Um, I put more, I was more heavy handed on this one than this one. It's on the, it's on the wine one too. But, um, yeah, so if I, if we add something else next week like grapes, we might do grapes and cheese or something like that um if we add something next week next saturday then we'll have a set of three and then we'll be able to put these on that bottom part of the sunset we'll put a uh, tablecloth or a cheese board or something like that and uh put it on the bottom of that sunset painting on one end so i think that'd be a lot of fun i might have to do it first though I typically, I stopped painting my stuff first because I was going through too many canvases um, and too much paint. I'm going to transition back over, let's see, to, hello, <laughs> uh, transition back over to me. <laughs> uh, so how's everybody doing? That was a short one. What time is it? That was a half an hour. Cool. I like short ones. How's everybody doing? Um, I was I was really tired today. I actually fell asleep. You like the grape and cheese idea? Okay. Hi, Kathy. We'll do the grapes and cheese. Um, next next saturday seven o'clock p.m 
So press the, yeah, hit the thumbs up, the like. Um, oh, that is the thumbs up. The subscribe and the bell. And what else are we supposed to do? Oh, and share. If you guys are on Pinterest or whatever, share on Pinterest. That That's fun. I mean, you know, I don't think I'm, uh, if I was a big, big, big channel, then I'd worry about people stealing. But, you know, everybody's got wine glasses and bottle of wine. So it's not like a big, uh, uh, big, huge design. <laughs> uh, what explanation? Oh, about the size? There's something on there on your settings that has a size and it gives you a choice like when you download uh, 720 or 480 or whatever the four is, I can't remember. And it gives you a bunch of sizes. Choose the smallest one, Leanne. Um, if you choose the smallest size um, in your settings on, on here, on my lives, then you should be able to buffer less. That's the best I could do, <laughs> if you could find that. <sighs> now, what's the sure does? Sure does. My delay makes it so hard for me to stay with the conversation. <laughs> <sighs> okay. So anyway, if you want to sell these, that'd be great. Like if you have a set and we have our our wine, which I think I'm going to do mine over again. And because I like the darker purple much better. And the, um, the cheese and grapes. And then we have the three together. If you uh, are selling your paintings, you do your paintings like Tina. Tina's the big pro now. Um, she's selling her paintings. If you do it as a set, I think people really like that. And they could put them in their kitchen and stuff. So, let's see. Kathy, okay, Thursday and Friday, I had a two-day bus trip. Whoa. This past, like, just uh, yesterday? Thursday and Friday? This just yesterday? Wow. So, are you away or are you home? <laughs> Are you back home? Oh my goodness. Yes, Jennifer. Help her, Jennifer. <laughs> I'm not good at communicating that kind of stuff sometimes. It's like I could do it and I could look for it, but I can't tell you where to find it. <laughs> hmm. So you had to go, okay. Oh, okay. So how are you feeling after that? Are you super tired? Oh, you're back home. All righty. I don't like to read what everybody says out loud. Um, because, you know, you might not want your business out on the street like that. <laughs> so I'm acknowledging that I'm reading. I know where you went. Okay. <laughs> I'm super, super, super tired today. Uh, I did something kind of silly. I stayed up and make sure you watch the fibro vlog, the last one I did. There's one up now that is more, um, it's the actual live. I did the fibro vlog live and uh, I redid it and I was up all night long. Um, trying to polish it up and I don't know which one I like better but anyway sometimes the the live ones are just more real and I like the live ones better but anyway I stayed up all night I did sleep during the day some but it's not the same I worked the night shift so anyway I stayed up till 2 30 in the afternoon and I have some other stuff that I have going on this week so I was up at eight this morning and I, you know, I just didn't sleep. So I didn't have enough sleep. Now I did a fibro vlog all about um, taking care of yourself and um, doing things that will improve your environment, your internal and external environment. And I, I broke all those rules. <laughs> So 
I said that I was going to be completely transparent <laughs> and I was going to let you know how I did. I will tell you that um, our TV in our bedroom is not the box. It's not working. And that means even the clock that we go by is not working. When I go to bed now without the electronics, um, it is true. I sleep like a rock. The, when I do go to bed, <laughs> I sleep like a rock because I think in the back of your mind, you know you could turn on the TV, you know you could look at the clock and see what time it is and all that. And when that was gone, I was out. So, and I can't remember who put the, I know who put the post up, but I can't remember right off the top of my head. Um, to call her name who put the post up about sleep but she was so right and we kind of know that but that was my experiment so you guys watch that live on um, uh, improving your uh, internal external environment something like that I can't remember the name of it um, then um, Give me feedback on whatever it is that you tried doing this week. Give me feedback to let me know how it worked for you, okay? And also, oh, that was you, Gina. See, people are watching, but they're not talking to me. <laughs> That's what happens. Yeah, Gina, we all know that you're not supposed to have electronics in the bedroom and all that stuff, but I'm gonna tell you something. I accidentally experimented on that one and I, I I slept so like it was unbelievable so I knew that I couldn't check to see what time it is I knew that I couldn't check to see if there was any breaking news which is a big eye roller anymore because <laughs> it's all breaking news so um, it, it was a different kind of sleep Oh, thank you. So that's the thing. Now, we, we didn't used to have a TV in the room. As a matter of fact, many years ago at, in our house, we didn't even have a um, TV in our main living areas at all. It was downstairs in the rec room. So I, I think that makes for a, you know, our kids were at home and young. And I think that makes for a healthier um, social environment for the family. I really do. When there's no TV dead in the middle of everything. But, um, but anyway, so now we break all the rules. Because <laughs> we're grown, you know, we're grown in everything. <laughs> and so it backfires on us. Um, and also... Um, what else? There was something else. I was going to ask you guys if you did any of those other things on the things that we listed because I got input from uh, everyone that the audience that was listening, all of us um, that were talking together during that um, fibro vlog. It was an actual live fibro vlog. So I put up there all of the suggestions of things that we could do this winter because it's been a harsh winter. So we wanna take special, special care of ourselves. So let me know what you did to take special care of yourselves and let me know the results. After I get some sleep, like nice long amount of sleep, I'll let you know <laughs> how I took care of myself. Uh... Yeah, it's, it's a good idea not to have your cell phone. If you have your cell phone in there, it's good not to have your notifications um, on. And really, uh, they already proved that cell phones, there's a connection between cell phones and brain cancer. So people that sleep with their cell phones under their pillow, they need to stop. <laughs> that is so not good for you. Let's see, Jean, uh, Kathy. 
for really good sleep you need a totally dark room no electronics no lights no nothing but dark do it and it really helps get good sleep it's true and you know what helps me get some good sleep if i have a nice tall glass of water or bottled water right next to my bed ready and it's cold and um and it's ready for when i get thirsty i will sleep without drinking my water every time I will go right to sleep. So some about having that water next to the bed, <laughs> it must comfort me knowing it's there because I don't even get to drink it. I might have one sip and then I have to pour it out. <laughs> I don't know what it is. So anyway, um, there's a lot that you're that you subconsciously uh, subconsciously um, comfort you. Also. You're up with audio, but not screen. Oh, my husband had that problem. And I don't know what it was, but I fixed it for him. He didn't have the, uh, he didn't have the, um, the video, but he had the audio. And, uh, I don't know what it is. I took it, I took his, uh, tablet and um, I turned it vertically because he had it horizontally and I turned it vertically and I don't know, but it worked. So I don't know. Well, I have it horizontal. <laughs> I did work too hard. I did. Between work and, um, and editing and all of that, uh, yeah, it's, it's been too hard. And I have a bunch of other activities too. So I was gone all day and um, I'm ready to sleep now. So anyway, when you guys get done and you have time since we are uh, we early, um, find that it might be, it might be in the I card. I'm not sure if I put all that stuff in there. It might be in the I card, but um, watch it Monday. Monday's the polished up one, even though I have it broken up. You'll see what I mean. And I have music at the beginning of it that's quite annoying, but it does stop. <laughs> so, and then find the one that um, I have, one that um, where I'm complaining about YouTube and um, trying to get rid of the small channels. Anyway, that one where I have just writing on it, there's a playlist in the description of that one. So you can check out some of the other small channels and the artists and look at the playlist in that one where it's all writing on the front. So I'm just giving you guys little hints of some of the good stuff that I have up now. All right. So next week, grapes and cheese. I couldn't remember what it was. But yeah, grapes and cheese next time. And let me see how Leanne's progressing with her. Did you get your video yet? Yeah, check those out, Jennifer. Um, it's They're different. It, I, I'm doing different stuff, playing around, you know. <clears throat> but my one with all the writing on the front, that was my message to everybody because I was mad at YouTube. <laughs> so that was my message to everybody to um, check that out. Sherry, oh, Sherry, you know what? I almost was sleeping through my life. George woke me up uh, at six at 6.30. <laughs> Thank goodness I had everything ready. Oh, I would have been in trouble. Because if I have nothing ready, it takes me a good 45 minutes to get everything ready as far as uh, the the video and all that kind of stuff. So how you feeling, Sherry? Do you have a lot of people with the flu? Oh, Sherry's a nurse. A lot of people with the flu at your hospital? Because <clears throat> uh, around here, the flu is bad. It's really bad. I work in a clean area, though, so I don't have to worry about it as much. Yes, a lot of flu there. Oh. Uh, well, you must have immunities by now, hopefully. Hopefully you're, uh, you're not gonna be getting it. Strep is bad down there? Oh, huh. 
No, here it's mostly flu and pneumonia. Oh, so Sherry, are you, oh, respiratory problems. Mm, well, that's not good. Um, I am, uh, Tina's in Georgia. I am in Pennsylvania up in the Poconos. And Sherry's in Ohio. Jennifer is in North Carolina. Ah, we're kind of spread out a little bit. And I think Danielle's in Michigan, if I remember correctly. And Bonnie, Bonnie had to go somewhere, so she couldn't be here tonight. But she's in uh, Missouri. Missouri. Flu is bad there in Ohio too, Elena. It's bad everywhere. It's, I think it's more... I think it's everywhere. <clears throat> Michigan, yes. Oh, you had the flu, Elena? I'm such a good mom. <laughs> uh, oh, my goodness. All right. Well, I, I'm not going to stay on. I just wanted to stay on long enough, too, to tell you about what else is going on and um find out how you all are and think about watch that vlog so that you could get back with me and tell me what you try to um to help you help yourselves out this winter um that's and and what we're what we're trying to do with that end of the vlog um um oh <laughs> that's funny Elena says, my Facebook memories remind me of my hospital stay, so I didn't go to the doctor. <laughs> um, so what we're trying to do is hold each other to how we're taking care of ourselves. So we kind of have a little contract going on. So if we catch each other um, going overboard and not sleeping and all that stuff, we're going to call each other out. <laughs> I know I'm going to get it the worst. All right. Well, you have a good night, Sherry. I'm going to get going, too. We're going to end it. We're going to have a little holiday of not being late, of not being overtime. All right. Yeah, Leanne, you, you have to get together with somebody who can explain the, your, your tech issues. But I, I feel your pain <laughs> because tech, tech issues have been my life lately. <laughs> All right, good night. Take care, everybody. And uh, Tina, upload your, your wine glass if you want. All right, bye-bye. Good night. Good night. <laughs>